Oil and gas profits are grotesque greed. BP, Shell, etc. have posted record profits, billions of pounds, when many people are struggling to pay their heating, their gas and their electricity bills. Now, this grotesque greed quote is not my words. It's actually the words of a UN spokesperson. I do not think that a company making profits is necessarily greed. You cannot blame, in my humble opinion, Shell and BP and oil and gas companies, you cannot blame them for making billions in profits. By the way, if you've got any thoughts on this, let me know in the comments. I think you have to hold the companies to account if you want to distribute that wealth. Now, I'm not necessarily a fan of, um, you know, like a, a wealth tax per se. Um, but it does seem fundamentally grotesque. I think that's quite a good word. The BP, Shell and then big oil and gas companies are making billions in profits when people's heating and electricity bills, they're not just going up 200% or 300%, they're going up 400%. That is unsustainable, that is outrageous. People's bills are now thousands of pounds a year. They can't, they can't afford it. And then you've got inflation, which is predicted to go up to 11% in October and then 15% next year this is what a think tank have said inflation will be it's outrageous and how can you blame an oil and gas company for making record profits because their business is oil and gas and their goal is to make profit and a lot of people are going to be jumping all over the oil and gas companies they should be jumping all over the governments because I believe that some of this profit should be redistributed. But it's the government's responsibility. It's not the, the oil and gas company's responsibility. Kieran has said they made losses in the previous two years, I think. So this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. I, I don't point the fingers at the oil and gas companies. I point the fingers at the government, who should be... The government have the power to redistribute some of that profit to the people, to the consumers, to make it more fair, uh, more fair. By the way, they do that in the form of tax. The government are happy to charge companies now up to 25% corp tax. They're happy to add their 20% VAT on. They're happy to have 38% income tax. They're happy to have national insurance for the employer, national insurance for the employees. They're happy to have sales taxes on just about everything that you buy and stealth taxes. They're happy to do all of that. But they don't seem to be happy to take some of the huge record profits of the oil and gas companies and redistribute them to the people to make the heating and the electric and the gas bills just a little bit less outrageous. Because look, a 20% increase is high. A 100% increase is outrageous. But a 2, 3 and 400% increase in gas, oil, energy prices is unsustainable and it's going to cause unbelievable havoc. It is my pred prediction that we are moving towards a financial revolution. I believe that there could be a revolution of power. If you look back through history, you can see that governments have been overthrown and there have been wars and rebellions when things have got out of control. At the moment, taxes are far too high. Prices for general commodities and living like food and travel and fuel and heating and electricity, they are outrageously high. They are ridiculously high. This is in part down to wars that are funded by our countries that we didn't agree to go into. This is partly because of lockdowns that probably shouldn't have happened. Certainly some of them shouldn't have happened. And massive government debt that is now in the trillions. You know, we, our countries need to pay billions just in interest. They don't even pay any of the capital off. They're just billions in interest. We didn't agree to these trillions of 
debts. We didn't agree to these wars. We didn't agree to these lockdowns. These were all imposed upon us. Steve has said, need to start seeing some positive headlines. Steve, I would like that too. But unfortunately, there's not many. But the second thing is, I think it's absolutely vital that we talk about these things and we warn people about them. Because it's all very well going happy, happy, joy, joy. Everything is awesome. It's a beautiful, sunny day. It is a beautiful, sunny day. But fuel is crazy high. Gas, energy, food, travel, commodity. It is outrageously high. Price, prices are outrageously high. Inflation is outrageously high. Taxes is outrageously high. Unless we all stand up and speak out about it and push back about it and hold to account the people that we put in power, unless we do that, nothing will change. So these are my thoughts, and you need to know about this. Kent has said it's a rigged system designed to keep us in debt. Kent, do you want to explain that a little bit more? So let me know what you mean by it's a rigged system. If you or any of you want to comment on what you think is really going on and what's behind this, let me know. Please also do share this, because I think it's vital that we get this message out to the masses. Now, Steve pointing out here on, you know, there's a lot of negative media right now. That's because that's where we are in the cycle, Steve. You know, you go through um, recessions and depressions and you go through booms, booms and busts, austerity, prosperity, growth, chaos. This is the natural order of a cycle. And this is just where we're at right now in the world. I will give you some positivity, though. Become an entrepreneur, start a business, create a meaningful product and service and solution that the masses want right now, see the opportunity and the downside, see where people are struggling and give them hope and support and service and solutions, and you will become wealthy. Turn the pain into pleasure. Turn your content into cash flow, your information into income and your passion into your profession. Serve the new needs and the new markets, alleviate the new pains and the new problems, and you will succeed. So there's positivity for you, Steve, but you need to know what's going on to be able to switch that into positivity. And if you'd like to learn how to turn problem into opportunity and pain into profit and create service and solution and start and scale a business and get better financial education and knowledge, join Rob.team. It's an online financial educational platform. It will cost you less than a large coffee. It will cost you one third of the price of Netflix. There is no contract you can cancel any time. But we must be realistic about this and talk doesn't cook rice. Only action creates traction. So if you open up a new web page, just do it now and just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. You can join for less than a large coffee, one third of the price of Netflix. You can join 5,200 start and scale up entrepreneurs, movie shakers and change makers. There are masterclasses to start your business and scale your business. There are masterclasses to get better financial education and knowledge. There are masterclasses to turn your content into cash flow. There are masterclasses to generate leads and make sales. There are masterclasses to start a side hustle or even build an empire. Every week, every month, there's new content and new courses. And to join, it's really easy. It's all downloadable instantly online. Just type R-O-B dot T-E-A-M into a new web browser. Do it now, because if you don't do it now, tomorrow never comes. If you don't risk anything, you risk everything. So just type R-O-B dot T-E-A-M into a web browser. I'll see you in Rob.team. Do yourself that favor. People are always asking me, what's the best asset to invest in? Well, I actually did a nine module, 10 hour how to invest series masterclass course on Rob.team. And you can gain access to that as a Rob.team member for one third of the subscription of Netflix. But you know the best asset to invest in? It's not gold. It's not Bitcoin. It's you. You are your best asset. Invest in yourself wisely. You pay yourself the best return. And Rob.team is an investment in yourself. And it costs you less than one large coffee. And you can cancel any time with no contract. If you find it's not for you or you just want to get to know me and the content or you're just concerned about taking a risk or you haven't got much. It's for anyone who wants a side hustle, more income, lower tax, higher earnings. They want to beat inflation. They don't want to be completely drained by the system. They want to turn this negative media and all this crazy, chaotic stuff that's going on in the world. They want to turn it into opportunity, into solution, into service, into salary. Whether you're self-employed, part-time, full-time or big-time, go join Rob.team. 
Just type R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. I can see people typing in the comments, joining. Do it now. I do believe the system is a bit rigged. I do believe the system is sort of designed to get you into debt and to get you in to stay into debt by paying a mortgage and paying loans to banks for the rest of your life so you can essentially make them loads of money. I do believe the taxation system is rigged where you pay too much and you pay it in advance first before you get your money. But there are ways to circumnavigate this and there are ways to rig the rig system. Kid Billy the Kid. Play the player better at the game. And you can learn how to do this at Rob.team. My accountant will teach you how to get your taxes down. My millionaire mentors will teach you how to get your income up to create multiple streams of recurring digital income. It's all there in Rob.team. And we can sit here and moan and complain about how it's grotesque and immoral. These are words quoted by the UN on how oil and gas companies are making record profits. But I'm not going to blame them because a business is designed to make profits. And it has hard times and good times. And right, it's had hard times, the oil and gas industry, and now it's having some good times. It is not the oil and gas's responsibility. It's not those big firms' responsibility to take all of their money and give it to everyone. If they're making unfair, immoral profits, and if prices are crazy, it's the government's responsibility to do the governing and to redistribute some of that, that wealth. So one of the reasons I did this is actually not to go and criticise BP and Shell. I mean, they could do more, probably. They might say they're doing their bit. They could do a lot more. They could redistribute some of those profits and help people for sure. Maybe they are and maybe they could do more. But governments govern. Governments create rules. Governments are supposed to do antitrust, anti-monopoly. You know, they're supposed to make a fair market, a free market. They're supposed to create fair, free competition. And it's not fair and it's not free that oil and gas companies are making billions while the masses are basically going into debt and maybe going bust just to try and keep their um, to eat and to heat and fuel gas and energy and electricity. It's, it's wrong. And it's another thing that the government needs to sort out, in my humble opinion. So I just wanted to share that.